What's up, peers, and welcome to Bitcoin to the Max. What is voluntary exchange? Uh, because we kind of do this, right, all the time. Well, it is voluntary. That means that individuals are partaking in it freely and by their own choice, and they are not being coerced to do so. And it's exchange because uh, two parties interact with each other, two peers interact with each other. And uh, let's assume that there is Alice, uh, who really, you know, she likes apples. Uh, they are quite nice to her, and she has a couple in her pocket. Uh, of course, she sometimes eats one of these apples to uh, satisfy her hunger, to remove the uneasiness of being not nurtured. And then uh, she would you know, like to have some more tropical fruit, uh, for example, bananas. Uh, so on her individual preference scale, she values bananas higher than she does value apples. And however, uh, there is then on the other side of the island, there's Bob. And Bob is a, a tropical farmer. He really has a bunch of bananas and uh, he likes them, right? Uh, he has produced them and now he can consume them and again, eat it and uh, satiate his hunger. However, on his individual preference scale, uh, he prefers apples to bananas. Uh, so clearly, uh, Alice and Bob here have uh, two different preference scales. Alice prefers bananas and Bob prefers apples. Uh, so what they could do is they could interact and uh, trade uh, so that Alice will give her apples to Bob, which he clearly likes more, and Bob will give his bananas to Alice, which he prefers. And so after this trade, both Alice and Bob have increased their satisfaction. They have removed more uneasiness in their lives. And that is what an economic transaction is all about. As long as it is voluntary, it is mutually beneficial. Because let us now assume that Alice really, really likes her apples. And bananas, she doesn't really like too much. Uh, she would take them, right? But she does prefer uh, an apple to a banana. Uh, and for Bob, uh, he do likes his bananas, but still apples are much more preferable to him. Uh, so right now, these two individual uh, preference scales are quite similar. They both prefer uh, the apples over the bananas. However, because Bob is kind of like a tough dude and uh, he doesn't really care too much if uh, Alice gets something that she prefers, he just uh, goes and takes uh, the apple from Alice and uh, gives her the bananas. Uh, clearly for Bob, this is quite beneficial because now he has received the apples, which he does prefer much more than the bananas. However, for Alice, uh, this means that uh, her perfect satisfaction with the apples has been removed and destroyed and pushed downwards now with her ownership over the bananas. So clearly, uh, as soon as there is violence and as soon as there, these exchanges are not voluntarily, that means that one party is better off while the other party is losing. And this is clearly something that is not preferable as a everyday maxim in our lives, uh, because we can have something that is much more fruitful for everyone. And that is living peacefully and relying on voluntary exchange always. Because as we clearly saw, as soon as this interaction is voluntary, these two individual peers have proven that they do prefer their now current state after the transaction much more than they, their prior state before the interaction. So we can conclude from an economic and from a moral aspect, voluntary interchange uh, is much preferable to forceful and coerced interaction. Pierce, it's been a pleasure talking to you here on the Bitcoin to the Max show, which is a Patreon early bird show. Uh, so the gracious patrons and supporters of the World Crypto Network, either on the tally coin slash Halo Brand Max or slash World Crypto Net or slash Matt Bitcoins, 
or the amazing uh, supporters over at patreon.com slash WCM. Get one week prior access uh, to these videos as a, a token of gratitude, not a token of ICO, uh, that we here at the World Crypto Network uh, share with you because you are so, such a gracious supporters of this network. Thank you very much and see you on the next show.